Hi everyone, this is the Chan Clan and we have Lucas here. And Lucas has just built the KiwiCo Tinker Crate Glowing Pendulum. What does it do, Luke? It bounces around like crazy, huh? Look at that. But how do you make the notes? How do you make the notes? Well, there's a secret bonus to this glowing pendulum kit and it has citric acid. So what you notice that this is, is a pendulum. Why don't you go show us the pendulum first? Show us how it works. So it bounces around and attached to the pendulum is a battery powered UV LED. And the back of the board here fluoresces so you can see it actually glows and it writes, give it another spin. It writes where the UV light has hit it. And in fact, my camera is getting all glitched out by the UV light there. You can see how that didn't actually record for a second there. So that UV light uh, actually will light up things and you can use that to see hidden messages. In fact, the Tinker Crate uh, glowing pendulum here shows you how to build this, <laughs> shows you how to build this pendulum, which takes about half an hour. Lucas built all of it himself, but you can actually expand on this and you can actually make a maze with the tape. And using the maze, you can actually thread the uh, string to hold on to that and actually maneuver this as a game. But as a bonus, there is a Wait, pack is of citric acid? acid. Yep, it's the citric acid crystals. And what you can do is you can actually use the citric acid and add it to water. Uh, not right now, just because it's gonna get messy. You have to add it to water. And then once you add it to water, if you look on, look at this, <laughs> bless you. Light out of darkness. We talked about things that fluoresce. You know, if you shine that light on a scorpion, it will glow blue. In fact, some of our friends that live in Arizona, they go out at night with a UV light and they can see scorpions because they will start to glow blue. Did you know that? So that's called yep. fluorescence. Can you say fluorescence, Lucas? Fluorescence. Fluorescence. Now the coolest thing about fluorescence, Lucas, is that you can make invisible ink. Is that crazy? So if you take the citric acid and you add it to water, you make this acidic solution, then you can take that and write it on a piece of paper. And if you use that same light that we're using for the pendulum and shine it on it in darkness, then you can see it glow. Isn't that cool? Wait, so how do you make it hidden? It's hidden because when it dries, you can't see it. It's just a piece of paper. But if you if you put it underneath the light, then you'll see it glow because of the citric acid. Oh. Isn't that cool? And you write it. You write on it. So this board already has something coating it that makes it fluorescent. So that's why you can already see that it's glowing. And I bet you if we went into a dark room, this would glow even more and it would write even cooler and you'll be able to see this at nighttime. What do you think about this project? Is that pretty cool? what did you learn about this project? You learned about pendulums and you learned about fluorescence and even about invisible ink, right? That is pretty cool. And the pendulum makes funny motions as uh, Lucas discovered as well, that it kind of scribbles around uh, comes with its own batteries. It does have some extra pieces here, the string and the adapters for the, the maze game, as well as the invisible ink. Lucas, did you like this one or the arcade claw? Both of them? Mm, like this one. Right? Okay, so this one is taking a higher rank than the arcade claw, which was our last month one. And Lucas so far is having fun with this, and I think we're gonna test out the invisible ink later to see how we can see the secret messages, right? Yep. So this is the... invisible ink right now? Do you wanna do that? Sure. Okay, maybe we can add a secret message. Okay, so you just need a little cup of water and it looks like we're doing some invisible ink messages. Okay, Lucas is making his invisible ink now. This is just water and citric acid, so not dangerous. It's a weak acid. It's like in your sour gummy candy. 
Here it is, citric Wait, you acid. you can drink this? Yeah, you don't want to drink it. It's not for food use, it says. But what you're going to do is once that's all dissolved, like Jello mix, is it all dissolved? Let's take a look. There's still some stuff at the bottom. Okay, then you're gonna dip this and you're gonna write a secret message, like hi. Can you write a hi? Make sure you write it like nice and big, like H-I or something like that. that you can draw a smiley face. Yeah, it looks good. Here, um, so dip it in. On me? Oh no, you're gonna die. Yeah, I'm gonna die. So you can, uh, you can draw something on the piece of paper. There's another one. You want me to draw something too? Here, we'll take turns. <laughs> All right, and then maybe I'll dip it in here, and then I'll do a little smiley face here. And then maybe we'll do another smiley face here. Another smiley face here. Okay. You probably don't need to dip it in. Dip it again. That was kind of wet. You know smiley face? Lots of smiley faces. Whoa, tons of smiley faces. Okay, so then you just let this dry for a second. Like how long? Until it dries a little bit, and then it'll look invisible, right? Like your your first H is almost going away. Okay, right? so we Now, take if you take off the... Uh, so let's unscrew this one. Or here, it's right easier to unscrew it at the top, right? Yeah. So let's see if we can unscrew the top. Why can we just go like this? You can. And Unscrew it. It's a lot. Or you can unscrew it here. Maybe unscrewing it here is easier. Mm. There you go. You can unscrew it there. Let's see if you can see. I can see some of it. Do you see some of it? You probably have to go to a dark room. Should we go to a dark room? Let's go to a dark room. All right, Lucas and I are in the laundry room now. Lucas is going to decode his secret message with his black light. Do you see it? I see a little bit of something. Look, the smiley faces. Do you see that secret message? There's a smiley face right there. I see a smiley face. There's a smiley face there. It's shrinking. All right. Here, do you want to try the pendulum in here too, in the dark? Yeah. Go get it. Okay, here we are in the laundry room again, and we have gotten the pendulum. We can lay it on its side here too, and yes, in the dark, you can see this a lot better. Look at that. Is it glowing? Ooh, I gotta make it exact. Exactly go in a circle. Uh, just making rid of them. That is pretty cool. Look at that. It's glowing. Woo. Wow, look at it. Jumping around, right? Hey, it's hard. All right, this is pretty cool. I'll let mommy come take a look, too. I think she'll be really cooled out by this. All right, Lucas, this is the KiwiCo Tinker Crate. Glow in the dark or glowing pendulum, right? It could mean like a clover. Who knows what the next what kit is, uh, has in store for us. Don't you buy them? Yeah, we subscribe to them. You can subscribe to them through the link in our descriptions below. This is the Chan but Plan don't you Tech buy them? Don't, for Tinker they Crate don't give glowing pendulum. Us. You buy them, right? Yep, we do. We subscribe. Subscribe. I want that. 
Oh, the chomper head. The chomper head one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on our next KiwiCo subscription.